play that. There we go. Now you'll see it just flashes for a second. Again, this is where we'll go to more. We'll click duration and make it two seconds. So it actually our viewers can see what he said. And that's, that's a say command. Now, you could say, hmm, what about think? What's think do? Well, let's take that to the beginning and make the rabbit say, I wonder. And let's make add more. As you see, I just clicked I wonder. I didn't hit um, other. But if I want to add more to it, I just click it. So let me click off of it. And you just click right on it. And it brings up where you can edit. I wonder, can I jump and spin at the same time? So now what that'll do is just put a think box at the beginning. Again, we're going to want it to stay a little bit. We're going to make it go two seconds. And now if we play it, we'll restart it. See, it looks like a little think box, so he tries it out and says that was fun. So again, these, these are our methods, and we're doing little simple methods, primitive methods, to make our hair jump in the air. We'll first think about jumping, and then going, hey, that was fun. So let's say, hmm, I don't like him spinning in the air. It looks awkward. You know, he jumps in the air and just stays there and spins in a complete circle. Hmm, that doesn't flow. So what we could do is just, we'll drag it down and let him jump in the air, come back down, and then spin. So as you see, all I did was drag and drop. Now if I play, restart it, he thinks, jumps, and then spins. So as you see, because we changed what we did, we want to also change what he thought. So it says, can I jump and spin at the same time? Well, we could just say, can I jump and then spin? When I come down, we could run it, and now he thinks something different. So again, that's just, uh, you know, how simple it is to uh, make things and fix corrections. You just simply drag and drop. That's the, the wonder of Alice makes uh, programming a lot more easier. Um, so as I was telling you about this more, this is called a editing tag. So you get more uh, editing uh, options. So here we go. Uh, let's, let's make the text of this one red and let's make it a little bit bigger and we can even change the font size uh, or font type type um, we'll do it times I don't know if you will know which one I'm meaning but let's try it and the bubble let's make the color of the bubble to match red let's go with blue so now if we run that there we go And that's, again, this more is just a editing tag. Allows you to add in more and stuff. So let's say, oh, I don't want him to think anymore. I just want him to jump and turn. How do I get rid of this? Well, where, where do I put it? You have, two com you have two options. You could right-click it, delete, or click and hold as you're going to place it somewhere else. But let's drag it to the top and right into the garbage can. See, if the garbage can is closed, nothing's going to happen. But once you drag it on, it'll turn green and open up. And there it is. It's gone. So now if we run it, no more think box. And that's how you remove. Again, I was telling you how to copy. Like I said, um, let's say I want him to spin in the air and spin on the ground. Well, I can just right-click, make copy. It'll make a copy right underneath it. Now all I do is drag it, put it in between the jump, and if I run... There we go. He spun in the air, spun on the ground, exactly how I wanted it to happen. So, that's uh, one of our simple commands. That's deleting, copying, showing how, uh, you know, to do the more, more options, and uh, editing tags. So now I want to show you a unique object. See, certain objects actually will be even more unique and they'll have their own uh, special custom methods 
So what we're going to do is we're going to start another new one. It's going to ask to save. No, we don't want to save this. This was just practice. Get another grass. And we're going to add a custom. Now if we click the frog, it's going to tell you he has 16 moving parts. But look here, I have a new methods. He has three special custom methods. He has a foot tab, a ribbit, and a head nod. So let's add him to our world. He's pretty small, and I want everybody to see this. So what we're going to do is we're going to resize him. We're going to hit our resize object. And, oh, that was the world. Make sure you click the object. So let's click frog again, resize, click right at his center point, and there we go. Okay, now we have a bigger frog. So let's get out of here. And uh, let me make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Uh, just that a little bit. Okay. So, as you see, I click the frog. And remember, here's still my move turn roll, but we have three custom methods. These are special to this object and this object only. Every object within Alice, some have custom, some don't. As we saw with the hair, he didn't. So, of course, the foot tap would just be the frog tapping his foot. The ribbit would make the mouth, uh, the frog open his mouth and make a ribbit sound. And then the head nod just makes the frog nod his head. There's other people, if you look, if we went to, um, you know, here, let's, let's test these real quick, just so you can see. So, as you'll see, they have a dot notation. So basically, the foot tap is the method, which is going into the object of the frog. So, just remember that dot notation as I taught you earlier. Again, it says my first method, don't worry, we're not, you know, we could change that, but for this thing, I'm just showing you what this does now, these custom. So there you go. See the foot tap, your ribbits. Uh, we could actually add the sound, I'm guessing it's supposed to add, okay, whoops, I must have hit something wrong. So as you see, that those were his special movements. I uh, kind of accidentally right-clicked and shouldn't have done that. Let's just close that. Oh, Synex. Uh, um, Alice is really fun. A lot of fun. Kind of didn't want to close my world. There we go. Now we're just going to get rid of these. I can actually... Oh, why do I keep closing all? Again, you can just hit the read undo. I'm just doing it the uh, my way. So let's get him out of here. We did what we wanted with him. Okay, so as I said, there's a lot of custom methods. Uh, if we wanted to have people that could walk, we'll go to the home, go to our local gallery. We're going to go to people. And you'll see we have walking people. So we click here, and these are going to be actually objects can, that can uh, walk. Kind of wish I knew about this uh, yesterday before I did my project. But that's my mistake. I uh, kind of was slacking off. We're going to drag this one into the world, but before I do that, again, 16 moving parts, but you can see now she can walk, she can move her upper body, she can move her lower body, and walk prep. i got to see what that one does. So we'll hit done real quick, click the ballerina, and we're going to just put that command in there and let's see what it does. I'm guessing that means a uh, preparation to walk. So let's just add these and see what they do real quick. How far? Walk one meter. There we go. Okay. So yeah, it looks like the uh, walk prep is just to get her into the motion of walking. Probably something we would want to uh, 
Let me see if I do this. See that? There we go. So see, it gets like a, the movement of her arms to actually look like she's walking. And you might go, oh, what the hell did he just do? He put a do together? I'm going to get to that sooner. I just wanted to test something myself to see what it would do. Um, but there you go. See, every object, you just have to uh, play around with the objects. Uh, and every one of them, you know, does something different. Um, again, you saw my program that I made. It's the simple one of the ballerina dancing. If I actually used a walking ballerina, I could have made it look more nice than them just gliding across the floor. But again, that, that was my mistake. I, I didn't come and look here. All I did was go to people, and I dragged in the ones that can't move. Again, that was my mistake. But uh, as you see, every, every object, you just have to look into the folders. A lot of them will have uh, different folders that they can do different things. you just you got to just play around and... Uh, see what each one has. Everything is unique uh, in the sense is like, look, just a bird. Here we go. He can make sounds. He could fly. He has nine moving parts. The cat, you know, eight moving parts, but she, you know, he, she, whatever, has two different methods and then has a cat sound. So everything's different. Chicken has nothing but nine parts. You know, you just got to mess around with all the objects and see what there is that you could uh, play with and uh, put into your animation or whatever you're making. So, I was telling you earlier about the names uh, of why not to use capital at the beginning. Um, this is uh, because you'll have two different ones. You have a camel case, which is just your object. You'll see that we have blue ballerina. Blue is lowercase, but the ballerina is uppercase. And this is allowed. You can do that. That's okay. This is what is called the camel case name. It reflects the, um, the purpose of the object, basically what it is. If I wanted to name this like... Um, if I wanted to name it Dancing Ballerina, you might go, okay, let's name it Dancing Balla. Let's just go with that. Well, this would be wrong. You wouldn't be able to use that, uh, like I was telling you, because a certain programs don't like uppercasing and doesn't like spacing. So what we have to do is turn this into a camel uh, case and put the beginning to be lowercase. So we would have dancing bala. And that's allowed. The only time you can have that uppercase where it's dancing like this is when it comes to the object. If you notice the object here, the class name, the, the class name is what I meant to say, not object, but the class name. This can be an uppercase. If we go back to people, where's our blue? Notice our class name, blue ballerina, capital. That's okay. The class name can have uh, the capital, which is called the um, Pascal, Pascal case. I want to say, yes, there we go, Pascal case. That is allowed. Uh, but for the object, it's you cannot do that. Uh, again, certain programming um, will not recognize it, and then, you'll again, you'll start getting errors. So just try to remember that. The object, also same here, when you're doing um, the dot notation, same thing. It's got to be lowercase uh, at the beginning because you... Um, it's just, it's hard to explain without, you know, having the book in front of you, but it's just, um, it's popular with how programmers write, and it's just ha popular with how programming software will uh, intake that information that you put. So that was the name. Again, if you want to rename stuff, let's just add Alice back in. If you want to rename, you don't like this, you just want her to be called Girl. You can either click the name or just right click it and hit rename. Either way, we can just write girl. Done. And you'll see now when I click it, over here changed all of her method. And that, that's the other thing you want to make sure. When you're dragging in stuff, if you change the name of anything, like see if I go girl, 
See, it still says girl. If I go ahead and change the name, it should automatically 